Get your passports. Hey, uh, before I get started or whatnot, I, I want to address the fact that I think I lost like uh, probably three or four subscriptions and whatnot. And I want to, you know, even though I lost those subscriptions, I want to thank the people that those that had subscribed to me, the ones that probably unsubscribed and whatnot. I know those those women, you know, they 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 tried to hang on as for as long as possible and shit. You know, I understand. You know, you know, going to greener pastures or whatnot. Like, you know, I'm, I don't pull any punches over here. I'm for real. I won't bend a knee. I'll be unapologetically masculine and shit and selfish. All right. And it's what I talk about over here and whatnot, because, you know, primarily I talk about men's issues and, you know, other, uh, you know, other things, you know, as I see fit. All right. Now, I don't, you know, I talk about other things sometimes and shit, which is kind of disappointing because they don't show up for the the new stuff as much or the political stuff as much or any of this other crap you know i'm hesitant to put any uh, life affirming shit on there because even that doesn't you know really you know put a dent but let's get on to our current subject yes you did see this video i do believe it's real because it's on the plane i don't i don't think it's staged okay it couldn't be staged and i saw like a flight attendant that was uh failing at her job or you know or I don't know how they self-identify. Don't don't hang that albatross around my neck as I talk about this. Okay, so basically what it says is uh, this woman is confronting a guy that's like a passport bro or something on a plane. I don't know if I believe that. I believe that he did offend her in some way. And that she uh, felt the need to get up and be performative and be overly masculine and whatnot. As we know, a lot of women these days really don't have any filter. They have no fear. They have that youthful uh, feel of uh, uh, invulnerability and shit that never seems to go away, you know, in the public, uh, on the world stage. And then they tragically learn, you know, they tragically learn it, you know, as, you know, when they get into a situation that they didn't intend for it to go that way. Things could go sideways real quick and shit, okay? And I just thought to myself when I was looking at this clip. I thought about that time when they keep talking about that 5.5 uh, femicide and shit. And I thought, like, if it was such thing as a 5.5 femicide, you know, rate or whatever, that black women are being killed at this rate. I don't know. I think the shit was Puerto Rican or something. But uh, if they were going to, you know, if they were going to uh, have, you know, if there was any legitimacy to that, that this would be one of the reasons why that is. And, uh, because <laughs> I thought to myself, you know, there's a guy sitting there, you know, you know, taking this uh, verbal abuse. She's trying to hit him. She's trying to get close enough. She has no self-control whatsoever and whatnot. She doesn't even care how she looks in public. She looks like a, she looks like a feral woman, okay? She looks like a, an inhumanoid. And she's trying to get her hands on this brother that's sitting there, you know, and he's he doesn't seem to be a shrinking violin, nor should he be at this point. Our community is in this dire straits because of shit like this, okay? This is in dire straits and whatnot. Like, women make these complaints and these demands upon our person with no nothing, no reciprocity on their side, even behaviorally and shit, you know? And I'm just looking at this crap, and I thought to make this video because I thought it was ridiculous. I thought this woman was ridiculous. I thought her behavior was ridiculous. I thought the other women that I heard, their behavior was ridiculous and egregious, you know, all the whooping and hollering and, the, you know, acting like school children. You know, I heard some chick going, ooh, look at that, oh, and I remember hearing that when I was a kid in like uh, seventh, eighth grade, you would hear women doing this shit, you know, when someone threatened you openly and shit for a fight after school, which is what this woman is doing, but she wants to put her hands on him, and then she thinks she's just going to sit down and put her seatbelt on and fly to 
you know, wherever the fuck she's going and shit, okay? I don't see the pilot coming out. I don't see other flight attendants coming out. I don't see an air marshal, you know, an air marshal, you know, who should be getting up out of his seat and walking up there and arresting her, putting her in cuffs and walking off the plane. And we know if the air marshal does show up, he's going to put everybody off the plane, including the brother. All right. And if he is a true passport bro, he can just walk to another counter and buy another ticket and get right back on the flight to where he's going and shit, if uh, permitted. All right. But I want to tell you some of you young kings that encounter this egregious behavior. Remain calm. Okay, no matter what, remain extremely calm. But also, I would advise you to defend yourself like someone is trying to kill you. Okay? You know, you're already half one foot in, one foot out of a jail cell or, or the grave. Okay? Maintain yourself. Maintain your dignity. Just sit there and talk. Sit there and relax. You know, she keeps doing all that crap. You know, if no one's in between her. You have to defend yourself, okay? God knows what she would do if uh, if you allow her to have her way with you unfettered and she physically speaking or whatnot. She doesn't know you. She doesn't care. You don't know who she is. You don't know what her intentions are. All you know is what you see in front of you is an antagonist, an unreasonable antagonist. It's like dealing with someone on serious drugs that's like tweaking out, you know? I remember years ago, I was on, I was in Hollywood, on uh, Hollywood and Western, and uh, there was like a crazy nude woman out there. She didn't have shit on. She was butt naked, and she was, she had bruises and shit all over her. And the first thing I thought when I saw her, I was like, oh, I need to call the ambulance or something, right? But she was going up to people and trying to attack them and shit. It was like a lot of uh, Mexican people out there, you know, a couple of black people. But like, she zoomed in on me from like about five or six feet away. And she came barreling at me, man. Like she was gonna like uh, knock my ass out. And she stopped on a dime because I didn't move and I just looked at her and whatnot. And then she started yelling and screaming in my face. And she uh, eventually started jumping up and down vertically and shit, like getting like a foot up in the air, uh, holding her, her disgusting, you know, box, okay? And uh, I just looked at her and I put my phone away, and she was doing that shit, and I didn't say nothing. I just looked her dead in her eye. When the bus came, I got on the bus and went where I was going to my work. <laughs> I just laughed this shit, man. I was like, fuck her, man. You know? Fuck her. I was like, if I go out there, and you know, I guess the next day I see her body or something, I guess they didn't call the shits, but I didn't feel any moral responsibility. Because, like, you know, when she was, like, coming up to me, I realized she was more lucid than she appeared to be. Because she stopped on a dime when she saw my face. I'm just a regular looking person. All right. And I posit that the guy in this clip, the guy in this clip should just sit down, relax in his chair. And, you know, if prompted, he should say, hey, miss, you know, I understand you're upset and whatnot. Uh, you know, we can do whatever you want to do. However you want to do it. You know, we could, you know, let's fly to our destination and, you know, get our baggage and everything. We can go outside of the airport and. Uh, we can we can do what we have to do then, or you know, you know I don't know what to say. I don't know you, Miss. You know, if we get kicked off the plane and you feel away, you know, maybe we can walk outside and you know do what you want to do. Okay, we can go outside the building and do what you want to do. But no, you cannot uh, use your cell phone to call your white knights and shit. You cannot employ proxy violence on me. Okay, if I see you with your cell phone up in the air. Then I'm walking to uh, the first station and I'm going to alert the authorities in here. I'm going to get security and the police department that are stationed in this airport and shit. And we'll do it that way. How about that? Okay. And I'm going to take a picture of you with my phone. And I'm going to give that picture to law enforcement and shit. I'm going to forward that picture to the, the air marshals and whatnot. I'm going to forward this video I'm taking right now to the air marshals. Okay. I understand you're upset. Okay. All right. Can you save your show business? until after we take our trip, okay? Because no one seems to be, you know, interested in putting you off the plane and whatnot. I thought there were protocols in place after 9-11, you know, to address this, okay? But I see that they're not, all right? Would you like a drink? Would you like something, a nice, cool drink? I can buy you a water or something, you know? I'm not going to buy you any alcohol. I think that would be a, nice, a bad idea, given your juvenile disposition and whatnot. But I want to tell you, 
you know, if you so happen to get past this rotund woman, uh, this this employee that's standing in between us or whatnot, then you will get what you are looking for in no uncertain terms until I am restrained, okay? All right? I will be walking up your shit. You know, I will be quoting goddamn 80s movies as I walk through you, okay? You know, we walk into Daddy Green's Pizza up your ass, okay? And I hate to be this, but you want to be a... I don't want to think you... I don't know if you want to be a man or not, but you're behaving like a, a, a idiot. You're behaving like a, a petulant child that has no self-control, okay? I don't know you, okay, miss? Would you like to, like, take an airplane ride to where you're going and shit? Weren't you going on vacation or however? And I want to tell you that whoever is here to try to help you, I'm going to give them the same business, okay? I'm going to swing for the fences, all right? I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to try to swing as, like, at speed of sound. I'll put it that way. I don't care who they are or gender-wise. The genders are equal and shit. What is a woman after all the shit? That's the question they've been asking for the last three years on Capitol Hill. All right? Sit your fucking ass down. Bitch. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes. The niggas you love to hate.